Didn't we freeze her already? Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yos. Winners don't lose. That wasn't me. That wasn't it's me. It's really gone to pieces for you. Hey, you're out. <laughs> Oops. Beatrice really went to pieces on you. Now she lies scattered on the floor in handy bite-sized chunks. <laughs> you see, this is why I am, I'm at the controls. Because when I'm at the controls, we don't die. Why don't we introduce the episode? Well, I don't want to. Okay, fine, I will. Hi, welcome to Never Stop Shooting. I am James, this is Paul. And today, we're uh, Spoiler City, sitting in an office with a walkthrough. Aptly playing Space Quest. Yeah, we scow. Uh, we we have not done that intro since like the first time we uh, we did recording on this. The whole uh, spoiler city in the office of the walkthrough. Yeah, well, kind of. Yeah, didn't happen after that. But whatever. It's still scow. And we are hoping uh, in this session of us sitting down to beat uh, Space Quest Five today. I wonder if I can actually use my. Uh... I can't use it on myself. Oh, it's not necessary now. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like they can only... Well, I mean, they could have programmed stuff for every possibility, but, I mean, that would be so much stinking work. And back then, you know, they didn't have the same budget for games that they do now, you know? Like, especially, I think one person wrote all of it. All of this game. You know, all the dialogue and everything, so... Ah... Uh. We found the Goliath, sir. Or rather, she found us. The Goliath's approaching at high speed. She's arming her torpedoes. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, command. Uh, let's see. Raise shields. Well then, okay, evasive action. Okay, uh, hail ship? Hailing, sir. I mean, we might as well talk with him if we can't do anything else. No response, sir. Perhaps their comm system is out. Okay, I'm just firing all the- uh... They shot at us! A brilliant observation, Flo. He looks so enthused. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't just sit there, Captain. Do something. Aye, ah, shields a hold. She's coming around again. Why can't we run? Uh, okay. Now you want to use evasive action. But, sir, that will take us directly into an asteroid field. It'd be suicide. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, let's risk almost certain death in the asteroid field. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm up for that. The others were like, I'm feeling lucky against the Goliath. And <laughs> I think the last one was, if we just sit here, maybe they won't notice us. <laughs> Way to take a proactive approach, eh? <laughs> Pretty much. But I mean, it's his very first command, so you can kind of, you can kind of sympathize with him. Yeah, and this is like the, uh, what is it, the flagship, right? Yeah, this is like taking on the USS Enterprise. In like Voyager. Well, not even in Voyager. Voyager actually was a decent science vessel. Well, yeah, Voyager was a science vessel, but... Uh, We're being hailed by the Goliath, Captain. Putting it on screen. Why? He'll look ugly. <laughs> Hello again. We'll call you insignificant little pimple on the behind of humanity. And speaking of pustules, Quark, you've never looked better. Ha, <laughs> you pathetic fool. You've no idea what you're up against. I'm going to puke out the entire galaxy, starting with Starcon. Not if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> From an asteroid field. <laughs> Pretty much. Ha, <laughs> your puny ship isn't a match for the Goliath. That is true. <laughs> it's very true. Au revoir, Broom Chucky. The next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. Like, you felt like we just got a hit. Oh. Gonna have to make some repairs to an EVA er, EVA to repair the damage from the Goliath's attack. You can monitor me on audio over the Starcom, uh, sorry, the comm circuitry in my 
thingy. Suit, yeah. Be careful, Cliffy. Yes, sir. Preparing to exit Pod Bay Airlock. I'm heading towards the port stabilizer. Made it. This will only take a minute. I just need to make a few minor adjustments. He's probably kicking the thing, is what yep. he's doing. <laughs> he just hear the hammer. Oops. <laughs> okay, Captain, that got her. I'm coming, but. Oh no. <laughs> so set fire and set phases to fire? <laughs> That's your plan? That's your solution? Say Captain, am I just seeing things or is that gentleman floating out there with the in space with a surprise expression on his face? Our chief engineer? I don't know who else it would be. Uh I'm assuming we gotta go out and save him? You surely do. Any ideas on how you wanna do that? Well, they've got that uh, thing that they fought the alien. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to go put that on and zoom out and maybe check my air tanks because it's if there is one thing that Space Quest loves to do, it's to not give you what you need. You have to check everything. And I just walked into the wrong place. You surely did. Mm. Yeah, you're definitely on the right track. Although I have a feeling those uh, asteroids hitting our ship is not a good thing. No. So, do you have any plans on how you're going to defeat the Goliath? Any thoughts? Any? Uh, I'm just trying to think. Back to the Starcom thing, because it, I think that had an answer in there, but I'm no clue. Oh, yeah, maybe it did. Uh, so, you'll want to... Oh, yeah. Go ahead and... Uh, it's actually from the uh, control panel there. There were four different options, and one of them was pod rotation? Yeah, pod rotation. It's like a boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, it's probably best if you get out of here as quickly as possible. And you were lucky that you ran into the Goliath here and not somewhere without a uh, asteroid, an asteroid field to run into, yeah. Could you? No. Oh. Well, yeah, then we were lucky, but that was just kind of written in the script. Yeah. Uh, you'll notice when you go close to the hands yeah. that it gives you options. Oh. But you're using up fuel, and you'll see your radar there. Okay. Uh, you want to turn around, like, entirely right now. Actually, that was probably a bad move. Uh... You want to try and make your way towards those dots. One of them is the... Um, oh, that's a claw. Yeah. One of them is going to be Cliffy, and one of them is going to be the Eureka. Ooh, this is not good. Okay, stop. Okay, so green is the Eureka, so red is going to be Cliffy. You're running low on fuel, too, though. You're about half done the fuel. Yay! It's been a while since I died. Well, since you died, yeah. Not since I died. Holy cow. Oh, oh, stop. I'll try. Now, yeah, you want to turn. It'll tell you when you're uh, when you're close enough to lock on. You sure? Because that's, like, really close. Well, you can give it a shot, but... You know, it's an old game, so perspective is... A funny thing. Of course. It's always bad at these games. And the green bar on the um, on the left there is your oxygen. Oh, so I have time limit. Yeah. Okay, stop. Maybe you've got to turn a little bit towards them. Yeah. Target and range. So you want to go back so that the target and range is flashing. Oh, no, not back, back. What well, now I'm lost. Oh, this isn't going to be good. You'll want to go forward so that you're close enough to him. There's no way. There's no freaking way. I'm sorry, I should have been giving you... Okay, now stop. Stop it. And move Claw. Here. Claw. Yeah. <laughs> Claw. Oh, my... 
It's gonna ram him. And you made it. <laughs> you are now on the other side of Cliffy. Well, now it's what's gonna run out first, oxygen or fuel? Ah, my best for oxygen. Oh, and we didn't save before we came in here. There goes the fuel. Oh, no. And there goes the oxygen. You just hear those beeping away. If this pod ran on stupidity, you'd have nothing to worry about. As it is, you've exhausted your fuel supply and are caught in the gravity well of a nearby planet. The rest of your life should prove to be short, but exciting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Trumpella, a shooting star. Make a wish. Oh, slap. I wish. I wish. I wish we would discover someone else out there among the stars. Don't be silly, Krumpella. Everyone knows there's no intelligent life out there. And they're right. <laughs> Fuelish human, you ran out of gas. <laughs> yeah, we're almost back to where we're going. Like, what would you do if, if like, you were floating away from your ship in space? Like, would you, like, start flailing towards it? Because, I mean, I think it's natural human instinct to think of space like water, even though we logically know it's not. Yeah. And, like, try to use friction that doesn't exist in the space? In it, the space? Yeah. It personally, to me, it depends on how, uh, what do you call it? How far away I was from the ship. If I was, like, two seconds away from, like, losing control i'd probably be like flailing around but after i'm done flailing around there's a lot more productive things you can do you can try and reorientate yourself so that you're looking in the opposite direction maybe catch on to an asteroid and shoot yourself back when you had said you know there's more productive things you can do when you're flailing or, or when you're in space i just imagined you like you know like kicking off accidentally from a spaceship like flailing a few seconds and then just pulling out your phone and like <laughs> <laughs> hey hey i'm lost can you come pick me up yeah. i'm currently floating in sector seven <laughs> the only oh, problem is you'd have to take off your gloves to actually use the phone oh, yeah it's a little bit finicky trying to pick up cliffy there you're telling me look at that took us about 10 seconds what took us like two minutes before there you go. All right, claw again. No. Yeah, perfect. And claw again. This is like those machines in the, uh, what do you call it? That they have in some restaurants and in malls and stuff like that. Seriously? I hate this. Okay, click on a stump. Okay. Thumb. Now click on the stump again. Yeah, there you go. Cliffy has been successfully something, something, something. Retracting the arm now would be unwise. You might damage your chief engineer. All right, now we got to get back to the Eureka before our oxygen runs out, which shouldn't be a problem at all. You keep saying stuff like that. <laughs> and it's never true, is it? Why does it keep turning? I don't know. Because in space, there's a little bit of a drag to the left. Always to the left. No matter which. That's. Is, no I don't believe that one bit. <laughs> Good flying, Ace. You return to this uh, to the safety of the Eureka, the relative safety of the Eureka. And flop. I like how that's the Homer Simpson dope sound. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that, eh? Perfect. You okay, Cliffy? Ah, whatever. Thanks for pulling my butt out of the sling again, Captain. That's too I owe you. Think nothing of it, Cliff. Chief. Okay, I won't. <laughs> but you need to get us out of here, sir. I don't know how much longer the Eureka can stand taking about and the pounding she's taken. Wow. And apparently English is not my first language. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's airlock! <laughs> Oh, man. We should save. We should save. All uh, right. Well, guys, we have successfully saved Cliffy. So make sure to like and subscribe. And until we see you next time, be excellent to one another.
Quiffy is a bad prize in this game. This game. In this game. <laughs> oh boy yes so see you next time keep your guns in the air and say the thing you say i already did i did it a while ago you (laughs) no